everyone! So I have a beauty video for you guys today, and not in the traditional sense. Well, it is a scent. So if you don't know, The Motley is an online boutique for men's grooming care and skincare line uh, that famously got a lot of credit because one of their investors is Glee's Darren Criss. He's been spotted talking about it, there's been a couple of interviews, and he's talked about certain things including their cologne, Atlas. Well, I thought I would check out The Motley's pop-up boutique that they have in Los Angeles until the 16th of February, and I wanted to get something for my dad for his birthday, and I successfully found a great gift for him. So very excited, but I had to do some shopping for myself as well. The one thing that I did go there and get for myself is the mini trio of five milliliters of their three uh, signature scent, which is Atlas, Bergamo, and Ode. So, and I actually had a great conversation with one of the owners about these, and we smelled them all. And it has killed me to wait this long to try them, but I had to film a video to show you how they were packaged because it was literally the cutest thing in the world. So, without further ado, let's get into this. So, first things first, um, the price of this is $45 for three 5 milliliter clones. It's actually really not that bad. If you'd like, you can get one of the larger bottles of the individual scents for $45 as well, but I thought this was a great little kit. They're probably also wondering why a woman is buying cologne, and technically, I don't think cologne really should be like men's or women's or scents or anything like that, because it really is what you like to smell like. And I smelled all three of these in the store, and I fell in love with them all because they all just gave me a warm feeling, and I will explain to you what the scents are, but first, let's get into how they are packaged. So all of these scents from The Motley do come in tins. Uh, if you order online, you can actually get a tin personalized with your name on it, which is super cute. Um, but I was able to buy mine in store, which made it awesome. Um, so it came in this great little tin. It has the description of the scents, and it has that great little quote on the side. Um, so yeah. All right, so the tin, when you open it up, I literally, it still is, has the bubble wrap ah. on it. Oh my gosh, and when you open it, it just smells like, ah. Um, so the three individually wrapped colognes are individually wrapped in uh, tissue paper, and there's a little bit of brown, I wanna call it like bird's nesting, in the bottom. So let's open up the first one. This is uh, Ergamo, I believe. So they're little itty bitty bitty bottles, which is super cute, first off. Let's open it up and I'll give you my first like wafting of the day to explain what it smells like. Okay. All right. So it has this kind of fresh but earthy smell, which I really like. Ah, oh, it's worse because they have cold. If a guy like freshly shaves and it's not like just a crappy like Gillette razor and stuff like that, like kind of what I would imagine like old school barbers would use like shaving creams and essential oils when they used to do straight razor shavings. That's what this gives me. So, the description of uh, Bergamo is Bergamot, lime, oh, I smell the lime now, salt water, juniper, and tomato stem. Huh, interesting. I get the lime now. It has a little bit of fresh citrusy mist, but it's not like super overpowering, which is nice. Next one. So the next one is Oud, or Oud, actually, and it's O-U-D. Um, this is the one where I smelled at the store and I wasn't expecting to like it, but I really liked it. I wanna say it smells like super classy Old Spice, um, but I don't know if that makes sense. But it's got this rich earthiness and like woodsiness that reminded me, yeah, that's what I said. I said that it reminded me of summer camp, when like the bunks that were made out of wood like would get soaked with the rainwater and it would just make this really yummy smelling wood like awesomeness that just reminds me of summer camp and like the outdoors so the technical what's inside of oud is leather black artwood oud mirth and bourbon vanilla 
I don't think you can really go wrong with any of those sets. So what that means is that the last of these is going to be Atlas. Now this is the one that everyone is talking about because this is the one that Darren has mentioned in, I believe it was in style, he had mentioned this as well as another grooming product and another product, which I will get into in a little bit actually. This is amazing, it's fantastic. Uh, so the technical way to describe how Atlas smells and what's inside of it is Amber Musk, Atlas Cedar, uh, cardamom, clove, and oak notes. So it's like really earthy, woodsy, um, but rich. So Madison, who is one of the co-founders of The Motley, um, she was one who I got to meet in the store and we were actually talking. She gave me the best definition for how Atlas smells and every time I think of it now, it just makes more and more sense. Atlas smells like what you expect Indiana Jones to smell like, minus the last Jimmy movie. It just has this beautiful smell to it and it just, it smells like earthly man that's just fresh and it's like, oh. All in all, the scents are amazing from The Motley. Yes, they are on the more traditionally masculine side, but if you just like smelling like the outdoors and freshness and earth, these are actually really good scents. And if you are wondering, there is technically a way for you to correctly wear uh, cologne. Um, and I will put a link in the Jubilee Doo for you guys to see. If you're a girl and you want your guy to smell good, this is great. And you know what? Some guys even think it's really sexy for girls to wear their cologne. So if you get it for your guy and you happen to like it, why not wear it for yourself? So Madison and I were talking, she actually gave me this for free and I was so shocked. Um, this is amazing, so I'm gonna talk about this. This is the uh, Buckler's Chapped Lip Remedy. This is actually another one of the products that Darren had mentioned in style. And I know why he mentioned it now, because it is a godsend. This stuff will literally make your lips feel like cherub cheeks. They will just feel like, ah. <laughs> if you miss like any spot on your lips, your, the rest of your lips will be like, but I want that. So this is a lip remedy for chapped lips. Um, it is ultra hyper moisturizing and long lasting. You really don't need to put a lot of this on and it will stay on your lips and it will last for a very long time and it will nourish them. It literally says on the bottle, optimum hydration, no shine, nutrient loaded, long lasting formula. This stuff is amazing. Uh, it does contain no parabens, harsh chemicals, perfumes, or colorants, which is awesome. Um, and it's cruelty free. It's not tested on animals, which is another awesome thing. So it does say no shine. Um, I get a little bit of shine with it, but I probably just get that because I normally have on a lip color. Um, and I did actually put a lip stain on underneath it once and then put this over top the other day. Um, and the lip stain stayed on really nice, which was Awesome. So this is only seven dollars. You can get it along with the trio of clones from themotley.com. Um, I just I wanted to share this with you guys because I know a lot of fans of Darren's want to support him and his business ventures in any way possible. And I definitely think if you guys are looking for great gifts, if you are looking for good skincare stuff, definitely check out themotley.com. They are a great business. They are really nice people and you can't really go wrong with really good products. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a nice big thumbs up and I will see you guys next time in my next video. Bye.